G'day everybody and welcome back for some more baking on Venus uh, where I am in a bit of a bind. Uh, so one thing I've learnt since uh, the first week is that apparently without labeling my doors all of these airlocks get messed up every time I reload so since I also need to get my water up, which I have a tiny bit, uh, I don't really want to use it, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to unset all of this and check to see which, yeah. See, the doors were messed up. The exterior door is meant to be this door. Nope. There we go. Interior door. Now let's check the vents. I've just disabled the interior one. So this one should still say locked. Yeah, okay, so the vents are correct, the doors are wrong. Delightful. <laughs> there is a bit of noise whenever I speak. That's because it's pouring with rain. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. It's really heavy. Which is also why Charlie has nothing to do with me right now. And she was like, no, I'm not getting out of bed. It's raining, I'm staying in bed. Why would I get out of bed? Uh, oh, um, let's chuck some coal in here. So many things to do. Because I am currently in a bit of a bind. Uh, right. Coal's in, which means we should get power generating. Oh, the wind's going nuts. I'm really not getting much power from them. Have I messed up the cabling somewhere? I would have thought this would charge up more from those wind turbines. Um, okay. So, need two things. Let's just switch those out. I need to go grab, well, refill this water bottle. So I can fill up my water entirely. Oh yeah, there is a lot of rain in the background. Apologies about that, this. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. Um, we're expecting, according to the... Uh, according to the meteorologists, expecting almost 200 millimeters of rain today. Which is a lot. The door exterior, close, food in hand, open the canister, unlock the helmet, open, eat, drink, 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 and close. Cool. That went. That went alright, I think. Alright. Get the door back. No! Why did you open the wrong. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Now we have to open this door, turn on the vent, and vent the whole lot again. I really should remember to manually open this door before I reset the airlock. <sighs> Why not label them? Because I don't have a label maker and I have to make a tool maker to make a label maker so then I can label them. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> There's that. Um, one second. <laughs> a lot just happened while all that was going on. Thank you, Beldenick and Biozombie Welder, for the offline subs and... Gembranitus for the Prime Sub. Thank you, Zero Nut, for three years. Thank you, Cole, for 14 months. Thank you, Sarah's Ranger, for the sub. Thank you, Naron, for four months. Thank you, Sparko, for the Prime Sub. Thank you, Hilko, for two whole years at tier three. You mad person. That's insane. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gate, for 17 months. 
And thank you to Real for eight months, and I will catch up on more shortly. Uh, what was I doing? I'm so I'm thinking through today. Uh, where the base is at right now, I should, in theory, have a safe space to store seeds. And what I understand of the traders is that they are randomized as to which one you get. And because they're randomized as to which one you get, I probably need to set up the trading thing relatively soon so that I can keep trying until I get a seed trader and can then buy the seeds I need. But also see if there's anything else I can sell them, then I might be able to sell to them. Or I think I'm not 100% sure about this. Someone can correct me. I believe I might be able to get them to pay me to take their pollutant or something. Maybe. So, that's kind of where I was coming, what I was thinking of doing. Um, whether I get, whether I try and put some more effort into making an actual greenhouse, uh, a, like a pressurized room, or whether I work first on getting the trader spot set up. I don't know which is the right thing to do. Buying pollutant requires a gas trading setup, which is a bit of extra setup. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Thank you, Tariel. Thank you for eight months. Thank you, Sarahs, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Gate, for the 500 bits. Thank you, Papa Tim, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Elemental, for the 14 months and for the 100 bits. Ah, thank you, Delicos, for the Prime sub. And Borunda for the prime as well. And thank you, Unidentified Flying Cheese, for the gift sub. And Nomus for the prime sub. Okay. I'm caught up. Uh, I do have... the parts somewhere for a landing pad. Because they do get provided to you as part of your... Um... Yeah, here we go. Landing pad, basic, vending machine, satellite dish. But what was the thing I needed to make in order to get the advanced furnace? Kit advanced furnace. Made from electronics tr printer tier 2. Uh, electronics. Electronic printer mod. Constantan, that's it. That's what I was working on. Why are those? Oh, I'm already out of power. That's why. Uh, I'm just throwing that in. I'm chewing through the power quicker than it's getting made, so... It's not going to be a problem. Uh, Elemental, I don't have bad static in the audio, I have bad rain on my roof. There is nothing I can do. <laughs> it's... it's really heavy. Up to 812 degrees. Uh, because anytime I do anything that, uh, messes with the static of the rain, it gets worse. I also can't... actually... Hmm. I'll try turning this noise suppression on and see if it helps. Because I can't use RTX voice anymore. Because RTX voice requires a better graphics card than I currently have in my stream PC because my 3070 died. I need a thousand degrees for the constant tan. I thought. Yeah. Oh, no, just 727 Celsius. It was a thousand Kelvin. Oops, that's not what I meant. Click. Ah. So I have hot enough gas to make the constant tan now. 
Okay. Copper and nickel. Why does an audio system need a better GPU? Because it's um algorithmically, because I refuse to say AI, uh powered uh vocal noise enhancement, noise clearing. Um how much constant hand do I need? I suppose I should probably go out there and get a bit more nickel if I can spot it. But it is night time. Hmm. So yes, I... Basically, I now have the temperature needed. And because there should be enough moles of gas inside this pipe network... Once I pump it into here, into the furnace, it should be enough pressure to make the constant tent. Oof. That oxygen is getting low. Alright, uh, let's fix up this airlock, because it'll probably be busted too. Where did I put the disc? Still in here. Uh, we're still not at zero pressure in here. Okay, the door is correct. The vents are not. So one of them, the doors got reset, and one of them, the vents got reset. Interesting. <sighs> okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go outside and see if I can find some nickel. Oh, it's so hot. Come on, come on, come on! At least I know about the bug with the airlocks now. Oh, nickel. Nice. At least I know about the bug with the airlocks now, so I can avoid uh, the issue of it um, popping up and causing bad gases in my base. It's bad enough that I got bad gases in my suit. How bad my hygiene is. Some more copper. So I figure if I make if I'm making constant tan, I want to make more than just a little bit of it. Now I dropped some iron somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, I think all the air probably blew it blew it away somewhere. Oh well. Uh, yeah, the terraforming mod is up to date. Uh, Elmo updated it yesterday, and then Nev posted an update for him. For them to update further <laughs> to fix a bug, so it should be working. However, I have not set it up for this save. Uh, largely because I was um, not sure I wanted to go the full terraforming setup on this at this stage. Or whether I wanted to save terraforming for something to do with a group again. Alright, so I think 100 copper and 100 nickel to make the constant tan is about what I want. Uh, 
Okay, that's 100 copper. And the nickel. Three hundred and seventy two Kelvin. Now, this is a problem. In order for me to get gas out of here, I have to pull it into the system that's already hot, which means it's going to cool it down. But considering we're almost at a thousand degrees Celsius, that should be okay. Uh, yeah, let's pump it out. Don't think Vulcan can be gotten to a livable state. Yeah, that's the that's the other thing. You gotta pick a place to terraform that's actually terraformable. I don't know if Venus is really terraformable either, because Venus and Vulcan both have such high solar radiance that I don't know if you can make them cool enough. And turn that off. Let's pump some gas in. Okay. So I need to get this up to thousand Kelvin and twenty megapascals. Means I probably want to turn that off. Yeah, it's dropped. The temperature's dropped way too much. Empty this out completely and start the whole thing fresh. You think Venus would actually work, Nev? The thing about Venus is, though, that can you get enough nitrogen in the air to cool it down? Like, has Elmo got the Venus, sorry, the nitrogen cooling effect? strong enough. And similarly with Europa, is CO2 a strong enough greenhouse gas to make Europa warm enough? Because that's, that's kind of where I always came down on this. I was like, hang on a sec, if they're not cooling enough or heating enough, then you have to use a greenhouse gas that's poisonous, which isn't great. I kind of don't want to use the poisonous ones. If you can avoid them. One second. Uh, I know volatiles are a strong greenhouse gas, but they do have that problem, as you say, of exploding, but they also have that problem of they're poisonous. Uh, so I don't tend to like those. All right, we are at 300 kilopascals in there, and we're at what temperature in here? 640 Celsius. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Um, that's going to take a little while. That's unfortunate. My next, my advanced furnace setup will hopefully be a little bit more robust than this one, where I can, where I have storage of the off gas separate to the gas that's heated and coming in and have a nice insulated storage tank for the hot gas. So I can control it a bit better. Alright. 
this is going to take another 80 degrees, 90 degrees. Hmm. Why are you guys all on? Why am I wasting all that power? Um, right. I guess I can start. I'm going to iron frames. I'm trying to think of what I, what I should be doing next. I kind of wanted to make the electronics printer mod. And then start work on the landing pad, but I guess I'll try and work on the landing pad first then. What a, what's got the steel in it? You've got the steel. Do that. Let's get some steel frames. Thanks, Ratfink. Thanks so much for the five gift subs. Am I avoiding combustion purposely? Combustion with what, Shadow Drake? Combustion with what? I have no ices with which to combust. So I would have to use off gases from various things to combust them and hard. <laughs> yeah, floor might be good here. It might be. But honestly, yes, I am avoiding combustion because harder. Well, just different. I've made many, many, many con combustion furnaces. I've never made an electronic heating furnace, so that appeals to me as something more interesting to do. But yeah, most of the reason I didn't do combustion was just because I don't have easy access to the gases needed to combust. It was hard enough getting a system ready to capture my oxygen out of the off-gassing. Alright, I'm going to go outside. And place down a little bit of a thing towards where I'm going to put a trader, a trader platform down. Uh, Taparo, from what I understand, 12 coal or even less is enough to max a small battery. I think I saw something from one of the regular people on the Stationers Discord saying that maybe it's even 9 or 10. That can fill a small battery because they managed to fill it with oh no that was the that was the solid fuel is nine or ten uh series yes <laughs> am i going with a five by five or a seven by seven i've never made a trading platform when it's been a customizable thing i i made one a long 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 time ago but not recently. Also, thanks for the 100 bits. But yeah, I... I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know. Uh, how hot is this guy? How much more have I got to go? 705 Celsius. Almost there. Uh, right. Let's... What the heck? Let's grab the bits. Landing pad basic. 
Steel sheets. Vending machine. Satellite dish. And the rain is back. So I think since I've got 10 landing pad things, I will do a 3x3. Three three. Oh, I need to put... Okay, like I put a frame down. And those don't need support, just the center does. Uh, that seems like a good spot to have data and power running through, right? Sure. Oh, this straight needs support. Oh, man. Yeah, I need to go get some more steel frames. Oh, Nev, I figured um, this is a very temporary landing pad that is just to get the seeds. I'm sure I will move it somewhere later. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, end up with not any not finishing something because I'm trying to make it too big, too good to start off with. Pulse economy and all that. Why is... Why is there coal sitting there? Oh, that's, that's not coal sitting there. That's coal that I could mine out of the rock there. Isn't it? Maybe? I don't know. Air tank low. Eh, throwing that in. Okay. Air tank critical. How hot are we going? Can I finally turn off these heaters. 755. We needed 727. Kind of want a bit more leeway for any heat that's going to bleed off. As I gradually get this thing up to 20 megapascals. So we'll go a little bit hotter. Yeah, eventually, um, eventually, obviously, on Venus, I'd want a pressurized hangar space because then I don't have to expend massive amounts of oxygen into my waste tank in order to um, get out to the trader because it's so hot outside, which is obviously not what you want. I need eight of these. Seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, like 800 Celsius, I think, would probably be enough of a buffer. 73 degrees difference, hopefully. Uh, I need more steel sheets as well. I'm doing this. At least four more. Uh, 
That's nearly full. Are there hangar doors then? Yes, there are. Yeah, there are some larger doors you can use and set up to get quite large openings to spaces. Okay. Let's weld this up. Okay. Um, now back to the landing pad. This look okay. All right, what do these things want? Steel plate. Okay, maybe the diagonals won't look so good next to the straight sections. <laughs> that looks pretty awful. <laughs> oh, I've got to change that. Thanks, Johnny H. Thank you for one year. Uh, do the dash tiles actually mean anything? I thought they were visual. Am I wrong? And they actually do mean something as a taxiway? I know that they can be used as a taxiway, but I didn't think they actually meant, like, I didn't think they were forced to be that. Yeah, I thought the lines were purely cosmetic. Now I've just got to get data and power connected up to here. My solar panel is completely obliterated. Um, yeah, I'm going to need a lot of cable. Oh yeah, computer and dish. That's true. Progress. Alright, we should be ready to do this thing. So, let's get the disc. Back to functional. Let's see how hot this is. Yep, good to go. Turn that off. And turn this on. I'm going to monitor the pressure of that pipe because that will go up fast enough to be a problem. Especially given how long it's going to take me to get this up to 20 megapascals. Does the heavy suit protect more from the heat? I thought it was supposed to. Okay, 
Okay, that seems to be rising about the same rate as this, which is good. How quickly is the pressure in this pipe network going down, though? Still at 15. We're going okay? We're going okay. It's a shame there are only cosmetic would have been hilarious if the traders were doing circles around the center because you didn't have a line to the middle yeah actually that would have been funny that would have been pretty funny hydration critical <sighs> more hydration So we're one, we're not yet one fifth of the way there to the pressure I need. I wonder if I can get away with making this volume pump work a bit faster. Nope. Oh no, out of power. <laughs> so glad I did that um, piping work. Yeah, I thought there was a way to still manually do the um, the trader thing, so you don't have to set up full logic circuits and whatnot. Or I thought they'd improved that, but I don't know. Oh man, power critical now. Five mega power skills in there, and that's five in there, so that's okay. Let's go and change my battery out. Uh, what's new in the last couple of updates? The hygiene side of things is new. Not a thing you have to deal with, but a thing that makes your life better if you do. Because at the moment I'm using a lot more, I think I'm using more oxygen and I'm burning through my food and water faster because I'm filthy and unhappy. Uh, chickens no longer generate uh, lungs at the world origin. That was in the last update. Uh, this is going to take a while. Ooh. Oh. Oh dear. Am I actually going to have enough gas? I might not have enough gas. This was at 15 before. And I'm already down to half, and I'm not at half pressure in the furnace yet. I don't think I've got enough gas. Um, I need to bring in gas from outside. Hey, Shale. Thank you for the prime sub. Hmm. 
I'm kind of excited for all the multiplayer desync fixes they've been doing last week. Oh, that's nice to know, Nev. So I've got to pump in more atmospheric gas to try and push the, push the pressure of this back up while hopefully holding the temperature steady. Hopefully this doesn't cool down too much while I'm not pumping in fresh hot gas. I'm going to need to put some more coal in. I don't run out of power. Wait, why is that? How did I burn that cable? I did it. What? Why am I shorting? Oh, you think I'm just... Am I just overloading with the pipe heaters? Well, that's not good. Oh man, I don't have the materials to do all the other stuff. Ah. Let's turn one of these off. Uh. This is bad timing. Didn't want to have to deal with Transformers yet. I'm aware that Transformers are basic, I just didn't want to have to deal with making them. It's not the implementation of them that's difficult, it's the making of them that I don't want to have to deal with right now. Um, I just want to smelt my stuff. Nope. Okay. No, we're not going to plug the charger in until I can get a Transformer. All right, let's see how things are going in here now. Uh, up to 9.3, but we're down to 882 Celsius. What temperature are we in here? 782. Um... Turn that off for now. Let's turn this back on. And it's cooked. Uh. What is it? 
custom make transformers. Transformer small. Requires iron and gold. Do I have gold in anywhere? Yes. Air tank low. Two of these and I'll be fine. And then some heavy cable. Cool. And we have one transformer going this way. And another one going this way. Health low. Should then be able to put that off there. I'm sure I've cranked this up. There we go. Up we go. Cut. 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 And on. There we go. And that should solve it. Nope. <laughs> that doesn't solve anything. Arg! I just realized how this is split. That cable literally just goes to the airlock. <laughs> Nowhere else. <laughs> uh... There we go. <sighs> Much better. Put some more coal in. Uh, I shall have to deal with my suit in a second. Air tank critical. Let's get some water and some food. I got food on me. Grab a water bottle. Cycle through. Pop the disc in. Close the door. Open the waste tank. Unlock. Open. Eat. Drink. Drink, drink, drink. Close. Okay. Open the door. Set. Close. Vent will suck in all that air so I can get that oxygen back. Let's check on where all these pipes are at. Where are you at? 9.35 megapascals, 800 degrees Celsius, 4.15, pipe is at 9.39. Okay, that's all right. And leave that going for a bit. At least I've stopped my panting. Hmm. 
Can you imagine the smell in there right now? Um, at 66 degrees in that tank, it probably doesn't smell. Uh, the reason being, all the bacteria are dead. I did not lock my helmet, no. Whoops. Yeah, it may not smell too bad because the bacteria are dead. But it could smell like roasted chicken. Yes, that's true. <laughs> um, I just got to wait for this thing. What do I need for a computer? A bit of copper. I could smelt some copper. Because I am getting a bit low on it. Uh, yeah. Put that in. Let's go smelt some outside. Wait, did I? I moved the furnace inside, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's go back inside. Um, setting up a small room with just oxygen, just for eating and drinking, uh, is something I could have done, but it's something I've avoided doing because of the high risk that I'll stuff something up with it and, oh, and end up with it, uh, bleeding that gas somewhere else that I don't want it to be. Looks like a chunk of copper that's stuck inside that frame. Halfway there. Brushes this out 2.7. Okay, we should stop that again, probably, and start pumping in again. Temperature is going to drop rapidly. All right. Think, 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 think. I should put the cabling... I can put the cabling out to the landing pad. And I could probably try and build that computer. Since you guys keep telling me I need one. So I wonder if I strictly do. I, I, I do wonder if you can do it manually. <laughs> and just get lucky. Uh, so we're below smelting temperature now. But I probably need to get that up close to 10 megapascals again. Before it can uh, have any chance of filling this up to the next the next 10 megapascals either. Just a little more copper. Oh, my filters are going to be low soon. Need to deal with that. Tinjo, it's always ZPM. I'm with Rodney on this one.
Okay. Is it only copper I was missing for that? Yeah. Does the button on the data and power show when a trader is ready to land? Let's go have a look at what happens. I set things up. Okay, so cabling. It's going to be ugly. So I've been told that the wind turbines are not impacted by any local conditions. They're entirely global. So I can kind of stick them anywhere if I want. Which is probably both good and bad. Oh. I guess... short. Huh. Just had a thought. Should I be trying to get some of these control systems inside the base, not outside? I probably should. So that I can call the trader from inside. Less time spent outside, the better. Hmm. Power low. Ah, I'll set it all up outside and then I'll figure it. Once I've got a system that works, then I can optimize it. Let's just get something that works first. Uh, hopefully, just a few more. Hopefully that'll do. Let's go back out. Make sure that's fill up my oxygen before I go out. Air tank critical. Oof. Pressure in there is getting low. Uh, before I go out, let's just check on the state of things in here. Make sure I'm not overpressurizing. 7.7. So .7. temperature in here at 768. Okay, it's holding. That's good. Silver! Come on. Why are you... Yeah, I've got a bit of No, I've got a vending machine. It's in my inventory right now. Should have been a motherboard in the blue crate. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just let this smelt a little bit more silver before I stop and go check. Uh, Milo, the, the VODs typically go up somewhere over the weekend. Sometimes if I 
have issues remembering to upload them, they'll go up on Monday instead, but usually within the next few days. Oh, I do have a comms motherboard. Okay, so don't need to make that. All right, satellite dish. Surprise a frame for support. No. Um. Yeah, yeah, uh. Sure. <laughs> Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Iron sheets. Berg. Need iron sheets, need silver, need all sorts of things that I don't actually probably need. Iron sheets. Yeah, I suppose I could make a frame now that I'm back inside anyway. Nope, need more power. Okay, that's all I need for that, I think. Uh, I don't need many more iron sheets. There's some more if I do, just in case. Push out through the storm of gas. Uh, welding torch. There we go. Bending machine. Uh... uh. Sure, we'll go that way. Uh, what does this need? Plastic. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I wouldn't have stuff I needed. Should have put everything down. This is gonna be a mess. What do you want? Screwdriver. Don't want much. Okay, fine. You need plastic sheets. I should get another steel frame. Plastic, plastic, plastic. Another steel frame. Yeah, the vending machines positioning, wiring, and all that sort of stuff can be a bit awkward because you need it just has so many access points. Okay, so what do I need to break this down? Angle grinder. Yeah. Hand drill.
好。Oh wait, I'm gonna need that to do this bit, I think, as well. Okay, vending machine is set up. You still need a cable coil. And now you're good. Now I just need to wire all these things up. And then have the joy of these things not being... Uh, on their own separate network. This is going to be fun. Okay. I uh, need the computer plugged in. Uh, yeah, the big ones need stuff I can't get yet because I'm trying to get to the electronics printer mark too, but I still don't have the stuff I need for the printer mod. And that's what I'm working toward right now. Uh, speaking of that, I might have enough pressure in there now. Turn off the bringing gas in from outside. Yeah, man. Oh, no. We're out of power. Uh, switch up battery. If I hear a big explosion, it was done. Mm. 13.5 megapascals. That's hopefully going to be enough. So I need to let that now get up to the 727 Celsius. Ooh, that's getting cold. I'm going to need to make sure it gets hotter than that. All right, so that's going to take a little while. But then when that's done, I'll have the constant tan I need to make the advanced electronics printer mod thing. So then I can make the better furnace. Then I can do more furnacing more effectively, make a bunch of stuff that I need. All right, back to the trader. Uh, the fourth one is off because I've been pulling too much power. Although I can probably turn it back on now that I've separated these. I guess I'll check. Hopefully it'll be okay. Um... Uh, what's in my suit? Oh. There we go. As long as I don't use the arc furnace. Yeah. Yeah. Air tank low. Turn you on. Turn you on. Turn you on. Turn you on. Nebula Nectars. How do I call it to land?
Rotate the dish. Oh, that made it better. Contact. Contact needs 30 watts for 22 seconds. 14 watts of 50 watts are reaching the con contact. Dish in use. Not enough energy pointing out. Oh. Oh, get better? Or did that get worse? I think that got worse. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, just 10 degrees from contact now. Interrogate. Uh oh, I'm going to run out of oxygen before this finished. <laughs> Okay, landing. Let's get inside and get oxygen before I die. Quick, 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 quick. Hurry up. Hurry up. 37, 35, 33, 32. Uh-oh. 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 Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thanks for the other bits. Yeah, successful uh, trade, I suppose. How do I trade? Oh, hello. Yeah, has was suggested you are a gas trader. Ooh. Do these oxygen canisters with the following oxygen 150 moles at 20 degrees Celsius. Is that worth me buying at this point? Hmm. There is also fuel, yes, but that's in bulk. Oh no, fuel canister. Yeah. They will get hot and possibly explode before I get inside, though. <laughs> um, I think I'll just tell this guy to depart. And wait to see if I can get a seed trader, because I need a seed trader. All right, that is a risk you'd love to see. Okay, I will buy one oxygen canister. Quick, 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 quick. Bend. Go, 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 go. Pressure is rising. Pressure is rising. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Your vending machine can be anywhere on the same network. Yeah, I should probably get the vending machine inside. Yeah. Oxygen. I might just pop that in here. I'll probably buy another one. Yes, my filters are low. All right, I'll buy a couple of other oxygen canisters and then I'm going to send this guy away. Well, 
What? Oh, wait, I should see what I can sell to him before he goes. I imagine it's mostly stuff I can't deal with right now, but maybe there is something I can make some cash off him with. <sighs> A safety net. I'll just keep these stored in the shelf as emergency use only. And... Let's go check this while I'm here. So you're up to 807 degrees. So we should, we should be able to start pumping this in. All right, 10 megapascals and climbing. Pipe is same, good. Uh, my waste tank is 83%. Should be, I probably don't wanna risk that. Let's eat and drink then. Okay, canister. Open. Unlock. Open. Eat. Drink. Oof, 90 degrees. That's too hot. That's going to be a problem. I'm not quick. Temperature high. But that was quick enough. Open. Thanks, Shale. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, yeah, progress is... I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I've never played on Venus before. I've never played on any of the really said to be more difficult planets. Uh, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So what do you... What could I sell to you? Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, depart. See ya. Now, how long does it take for a new trader to appear? 10 minutes, okay. Oh, hopefully I've got my stuff. 20 minute windows all in all, okay. Yeah, I want to do things the hard way rather than just buying everything from the trader that I need. As in, I, I I just feel like it'd be interesting to see how doable it is to get the base to functional with enough oxygen for me by just buying seeds rather than buying bulk oxygen and bulk gases for what I need. Different antenna positions will scan more. So I could possibly mess with the antenna position and see another s trader, maybe? 14.3 megapascals. We are getting close. I think we'll have enough gas in there. I'll drop the satellite down, like the dish down to a really low angle and see if I pick up someone else. Or add more antennas. Oh, I like the idea of just having more antennas so I don't have to, <laughs> have to line them up at all. Yeah, that appeals.
How do I make you scanned? So what's this do? Is that landing? That's calling him to land. Oh no, storm. Bye. I'm going inside. Oh, the temperature drops quite a bit during the storm. Yeah, I hasn't noticed anyone else going in. In the log tab, you'll see if there are any other traders in a second. The Galactic Metallurgy Trader, the Star Smelter Trader, the Planetary Pebbles Trader has left contact range. Okay, so there are other traders, I just gotta find them. Or well, they may be too big, that's a fair point, Nev. There may be other traders, but I can't actually call them down because I don't have a big enough landing pad. So my goal when I was thinking about this last night was that I wanted to get the trading platform set up so that I can try and get the seeds I need. And then the next goal was get the furnace upgraded so that then I can work on getting better solar panels and get a solar tracking set up outside. And then obviously to go with that, more big batteries for the station so that I'm not having to be reliant on coal anymore. Uh, that's that was the stepwise logic I was trying to follow. Why not solar in a glass room? Um, pressure. Isn't the pressure differential on Venus big enough to be a problem? Although I suppose I could just have it pumped inside. But also because if I set it up with the proper ones first, I don't have to worry about it. And it, I was, I'm not far from being able to do that. Once I've got a better furnace in here, uh, having, being able to pump into it quickly and get the pressure in and do that sort of stuff will be easier. Sixteen. I wonder if this would be faster if I pumped in more pro temp, more gas from outside. I'm a little... Oh man, this is so slow. 16.7 <laughs> megapascals. I need so much more! You can't pump... You cannot connect pumps directly to furnaces. You must have a pipe network for the pump to push into and then that can equalize with the furnace. All devices need to have a network to connect to so then the because of the way the game calculates transitions of things. One of the other things that uh, comes up a lot during the comments is there's no flow inside pipes. Pipes are instantaneously equalized to all connected pipes. So you can't have something flowing through it like we'd imagine in the real world. So you have to think about it differently in terms of trying to pass one thing from another one spot to another. Uh, and it can get a bit weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to pump some more gas in from outside. In fact, I can do it while this is really hot. Uh, 
Uh, silly string. I think I'm to set up the proper greenhouse because I'm going to need grow lights and stuff. I should have a look and see whether they need fancy alloys because I think they do. I should check. Uh, but just want to wait a second. Oh, actually. Um, is it a grow light? What are the lights called? Yeah, grow light. Get grow light. Oh, it's only Electrum. So that's not too bad. I can actually make it. Okay, cool. So obviously the thing that I reckon is going to make this furnace setup more of the most efficient will be when I put actual proper sized uh common brain insulated tanks on them because if i have an insulated tank that's up at a hundred a thousand degrees celsius and it's pressurized to five megapascals that's a much larger volume of gas and will be able to instantly or relatively instantly get the furnace up to pressure but it's just at the moment i'm working on a very inefficient loop uh, that I can hopefully gradually get better. Seventeen point seven. We're not far. We are not far. Uh, yeah, Daz, I'm pretty much planning on redoing the whole thing when I get the other furnace. Because uh, now that I've got a clear idea of what I need for, the, for it, I should be able to do that. Uh, this... Run out. This. Nope. This. Swap that to the dark builder. Swap that to there. Yeah. That works. All fixed. The labor-intensive side of heating the next one shouldn't be as big an issue. Uh, just because if I'm able to store it into a an insulated larger tank, I can just leave it filling for a long time, leave it heating for a long time, and then once it's heated up, I've got that hot gas there for a long time. It's just at the moment I'm working on such small volumes that it's really easy for something to go wrong. Where are we at, pressure-wise? 18.1. Where are we at in this network? Uh, yeah, does having a hot and a cold gas probably will be useful in the future. And is something I may well try and work on. And yeah, there is wasp alloy, which requires the super high pressure, low temperature gas. Uh, for wasp alloy in the past, what I've normally done is pumped my off gas back into the furnace. Uh, my slightly cooled off gas, which has usually been enough to get there. The constant tan that I am smelting right now is one of the more annoying ones 
to get, especially it's one of the more annoying ones to get to make in the basic furnace, even with uh, ices. Using the ices and like the hydrogen and oxygen and igniting them, it can still be annoying. Oh, that's dropping. Where are we at? 2.47. We're at 18.5. Down to 960. Let's turn that off. And let's go check outside for other trader. Cosmic Cuisine. Ooh. That seems like a good possibility. Though if it only sells food, that's not helpful. Four degrees from contact. Nice. Down they come. See you, Ronan. Okay. You sell rubbish? You oh, I can... Ooh. You'll give me money if I take your rubbish? I think we can do that. Uh, and everything else is just... cans of stuff and you'll buy empty cans I will take your rubbish Remember to press zero before trading. What? Oh, it makes you wave. Oh. Yay. I can use those for something later, can't I? The decayed food. Uh, did I actually wave when I did that? Nope. No wave. No wave. Fertilizer. Oh yeah, and that's how I can get some hydrogen later. Alright, see you, trader. Oh, 
Nope, I'm out of power. <laughs> I he never thought he'd sell that rubbish. Yeah, probably. Desperate times call for desperate rubbish collection. Wasn't much money, but I figured it, getting some money for basically doing nothing was worth it. Ah, uh, no, there is not a piece of coal stuck in the chute. There is a piece of coal I could mine from the chute. Or maybe it is stuck in the chute. Oh. Gimme. Gimme. There we go. There we go. Now we can't see coal in the chute. Back into here to check how it's going. No, let's fill up my oxygen bottle. Airtime Oops. Critical. Best not to throw that on the ground. Nineteen point five. Oh, we're so close. So close. Don't know why I went so high pitched then. Oh, there's only 1.2 megapascals in there. Oh, man. Oh, it's almost 2,000 degrees, though. Come on. Come on. Hello, Charlie. You get a bit wet in the rain. Hmm. Yeah, Shadow, definitely stinky dog. Who's still trying to get the rain off herself. Wet stinky dog. 19.7. Come on. <laughs> Your operative has arrived. Yes. Uh, you can you can get higher efficiency pumps that can move the gases a bit more quickly, but in this case, I think I'd still be limited by the rate at which I can pull gas through the vent that I've got outside. Nineteen point eight. Come on. So little extra. Come on. I oh, know too cold. No. I'm above a thousand Kelvin. I'm exactly where I need to be. Seven twenty seven Celsius I need. Nineteen point nine. I did off gas already, yes. That's what's made this take so long. The off gas went into my hot gas, made it not so hot gas, which I then had to heat up again. But also the thing that made this take so long is I did not have enough gas. The uh, rounding error, I'm guessing. Let's turn that off. Hey, green! We have constant turn! Oops, not what I meant to press. That's what I meant to press. 
<laughs> Oops. Hooray! Hooray! I have stuff. Let's go make the thing. Oh, wait a second. I should... Oh, that's all right. I'll slot that out in a minute. Put that in there. Let's go back in. Uh, let's put some coal in. And I'm just going to turn these off for now. So I figure out what I need them for. Whatever thing I need next, which is going to be possibly not anything, because I'm possibly going to dismantle that and work on upgrading the furnace setup. So, electronic printer mod. I need the steel, which is in here. There's go. Yes. Next matchup. Thank you for 54 months. Thank you. Uh, Venus is doing pretty well, actually. I'm pretty pleased. As I've said, like this, I've pretty much only played on Mars and Europa. I haven't played on any of the really difficult planets, and so jumping straight into Venus was a bit of fun. I thought, considering I've died twice and they were both within the first stream, pretty good about that. Now it's another seven minutes before this. I get a new one, right? If I'm interpreting that correctly. Stellar Supplies Trader has entered contact range. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to pick up the other ones. It's weird. Hey, don't blame me. Thanks so much for the 300 bits. Hey, Shizu. Doing alright. I mean, even increasing the power on the dish. I don't know how much I can afford to increase it. To the max for the test. It is. It is at max now. I am still seeing nothing. True, I don't have the heaters on anymore. So I'm using less power. I'm down to 8% in my suit, though. It's at 50 degrees right now, so it's close enough to 45. No. I'm getting nothing. Thank you, Shale. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits. Yep. I very much am going to need some luck to get the right trader here. You're looking for the organics trader. There is a one in five chance they will have seeds. Oof. So not even the just the right trader. I've got to get the right trader with the right stuff. Brutal. Air tag critical. 
Okay, let's uh, hop in here. Take the gas out of the furnace. And start getting the gas out of getting the oxygen out. Means pump and on. And I can cool that down once that's finished. To make sure the pipe network doesn't get too over pressured. Okay. If it does pop, at least I've got the vent to recover all of it. Okay, we've got the electronics printer mod. Hooray! Teacher printer. Hit advanced furnace. Needs some silicon. Needs more silicon than that. <laughs> oh good, I've got some here. Alright, that's getting made. I don't... don't know that I'd be able to smelt some steel in here, but I guess I can give it a go. I think when it off-gasses, it'll drop the temperature too much and the steel won't smelt. Nine hundred Kelvin, yeah. I think there's a r decent risk of that, but I also don't have much stuff to actually smelt steel with. Why don't we go out and get some? And still no other trader. Uh, a second furnace to do off-gassing is a... Let's call it a stretch goal. It is not a thing I'm expecting to easily set up just yet. I mean, I guess I could use my current one as my off-gassing smelt furnace once I get the advanced one set up. But honestly, I'd prefer to not and leave my current setup where it is. It's kind of in the way. Alright. Chuck you in the airlock. So I can just pick you up when I go back inside. Stay inside. Get some coal. Thanks, Brady Bill. <laughs> Thank you for 29 months. He has a... Um, baked splitsy surprise. No, it's more like a fondant. More like a chocolate fondant. Still gooey and partially uncooked on the inside. to make a... I want to have enough that I could make more than just one stack of steel. Uh, it looks like that's about all the coal that's in this deposit. Hydration critical. Oh, there's another bit here. Another bit there. Oh, it's quite a lot more.
Sweet. <laughs> Splitsy is currently what would happen if you put a cream egg in the microwave. Yeah. Well, you talking with the wrapper still on? Presumably wrapper off, right? Because the foil would cause its own problems. Uh, okay. Let's see how much we can do. Hey, Kimaru, thank you for 14 months. Yes. A um cream egg in the microwave is a thought experiment. Wait, didn't I put... Oh, there it is. Temperature's down to 974. Should be able to get there, actually. Another 200 grams of steel is certainly worth it to get. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! It just dropped too low! No! On go the heaters. It's already hotter. Oops, not what I meant to press. And gas is going in. Oh. Six degrees. But it's so high pressure in there, I think I'm going to have to vent some of it out because I'm never going to get that up without cycling through. Six hundred twenty-seven, five degrees off. Jeez. Four degrees off. No, I can. I reckon I can easily hold the pressure. The volume from the furnace in the pipes because the pipes go up to 60 megapascals and I wasn't even at I was at 15 before I filled it like when I started the whole process so I it wouldn't surprise me if I've actually got enough the detonation pressure of the furnace is 60 megapascals as well Six twenty-five. I'm going to keep an eye on the pipes, regardless, because I'm not supremely confident that I've got enough volume in the pipes. There is a chance I do. There's a chance I don't. <laughs> so I'm going to monitor it. Hey, six twenty-seven. We should be there in a minute. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's pop out the steel. There we go. More steel. Hooray. Okay. Um, let's turn these guys off again. Let's check to see if there's any oxygen left in the system. There's a bit. How much oxygen have we got in here? 81 moles. I'll deal with that later. I have an advanced furnace.
to go with this advanced furnace, I need some insulated tanks. Can I make insulated tanks? Not insulated. Kit tank insulated. That's what I want. What do I need for that? Copper, steel, and silicon. Hunger, huh? Glad you guys made me make more steel. Uh, might. What does silicon need? Yeah, 900 Kelvin as well. Tank low. Oh, I might give it a go. See if I can get this 15 grams of this made. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, the pressure in the big OT tank is getting low. I know. I was going to put a back pressure valve in here to try and get my pressure in my bottles up higher, but... I liked that this was a way for me to monitor when I was getting low by having it constantly, by having it slowly drop as I um, keep filling from it. So I was quite happy with this as a monitoring system of sorts. Astromart. Oh, poop. Temperature critical. Oxygen low. Okay. Oxygen critical. Okay, okay, I know. Things are bad. I'm heating up inside my suit. I'm cooking. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I may have killed myself. Ah, poop. That took too long. I think my lungs are dead. Because my unconsciousness is going up. And my target temperature and pressure are still fine. Yeah. Whoops. Health low. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm coming back. <laughs> Oh, it's the, the waste tank is so much worse than the O2 tank running out. Oh well. <laughs> I was doing well, now less so. Um, stay there. There's still a fair bit of oxygen in there. Yeah, Shale. Hopefully, um, 
Hopefully this next life will last a bit longer than the last one. Yes, indeed, on the bright side, my fresh body is clean. I was going out there to get silicon, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you for the 200. 92 from contact. That's a bit slow. Sixty-three, let's go a bit further. Hey Sin Boogie. Uh it was going really well. Uh, the last few minutes less so. Fifty. Uh, it's going up better. No, up is worse. That's more like it. Okay, so I'm still too far. Oh, wrong way. Oh! I just got a second trader. But that needs a 5x5, five five, so I can't do it. Hey! I... I am correct that I can't call a 5x5 five because five I don't have a 5x5 five five landing pad, right? Come on down. See if I can get a thumbnail. What do you have? You have duct tape, you have small batteries, you have cereal bars, water bottles, filters, box of chem lights, and spray cans. Chem droid, repair kit, medical pills, and hand sanitizer. Okay, and you don't want to buy anything. Hmm. Don't think anything I want. You've got anything I want. See ya. I know people want me to get the water bottles, but I'm not going to. Keypad 1 is the wave? Ah, there we go. Yep. Alright, I will uh, come back to that in seven or eight minutes. I didn't see much point in buying the spray cans when I can just make a tool printer to print spray cans quite easily. Oh, I was meant to be out there collecting silicon. What am I doing? Oof, I really need to get some more oxygen in that system. I should collect some gold while I'm out there. Power low. Okay, silicon, I see some there.
Hey, Mr. Titan. Thanks so much for 44 months. Madness. Thank you. Okay, how much silicon do I really need to dig up just yet? When the gold is arguably going to be more valuable to me. That's... I'm not making... Oh, wait, if I'm going to start making solar panels, I'm probably going to need more. I'll do. Let's go find some gold. Gold, gold, gold. Where is gold? That looks like it might be gold. Maybe? No, copper. That's gold. Annoyingly, I'm on the wrong side of the hill from base. <laughs> so, I hope I don't get turned around. Ah uh, yes, it's a, it gives the suit power low warning at 50% suit power, so there's still quite a bit. Is there no more gold? No. What a teeny tiny deposit. Give me more. Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted. Not when you get lost, it isn't. Fair. Fair. <laughs> I do kind of find it a bit surprising that they didn't let us uh, modify when the warnings happen. So that seems like a thing that this game would let you do. Even if it was only a thing you could do by programming the suit. Is that gold? No, that's copper. This is gold. And home is that way. Give me more, more, more. So home is roughly 65 degrees. Thanks, Spartus. Glad you're enjoying the scrapyard stuff. I am very much enjoying playing that myself. Uh... So much so that I don't have enough time each week to play as much as I would like to for the recordings. Although yesterday I was feeling the same about this too. I really wanted to play more Stationeers. I... It always makes me happy when I get to a point where I've got a couple of things I'm playing that I really want to play more of during the week, but I have to force myself not to. Uh, so that I don't burn myself out on it. Uh, 65's about there. Oh, there we go. Okay, 250 gold. 205 silicon should be alright. Maybe a moon co-op series in the future? Um, I don't know about the moon. I've always resisted playing on the moon because of having to capture every little bit of gas. Though terraforming the moon might be fun. But it's also just one of the things that often makes me resistant to playing on the moon in most things. I know I did do it at the beginning of a set of acquisitions. It's grey. I dislike the grey. The the flat dull grey.
Okay. I think it might be better for me to off-gas the gold in the arc furnace than in the regular furnace. The reason for that is all of the other gases that are currently in the main furnace. But do I want to spend all that power? Ah, stuff it. I'll just put it through here. Get me all the gold. Oh, should probably close that just in case. And we'll do this one to stack to 100. Oh, ton of gold. All right, what's in this system? No O2. And fairly low pressure too. Now that it's cooled off. Oh, you're still on. Why are you still on? That's why. No, it's not because it's cooled off. It's because I've been dumping it all in the furnace. Yeah, the battery on the base is not dead because I've got power to all these things. It's probably low, but it's not dead. Plus he's afraid his friends won't spot him with all the grey around. Uh, honestly, that's not that far from the truth. Um, it's really, it takes a lot more effort and time to get interesting looking thumbnails on a boring background. Uh, like the moon. So I, I do tend toward more colourful, interesting uh, settings for my series as a result. So it, that's, honestly, that's where a lot of my desire for those sorts of settings comes from. How much oxygen have I got in here now? 132 moles. How much is in the other side? 150. Okay, so I've got almost double my current oxygen supply. Just got to cool it down. Uh, which means replace this cable that burnt out. Falling rapidly, rising slowly, pressure in there is 18 megapascals. Hmm. I should filter off some of that nitrogen at some point soon too. Can someone count how many cables I've burnt out today? I've burnt out a lot of cables. I don't actually remember a time when I've burnt out this many cables before. Now I'm out of power. Okay. So what do I need for the fancy solar panels? Solar panel, heavy, dual. Get solar panel heavy. 
Copper, steel, electrum, astraloy. And astraloy needs the advanced furnace. Okay. But what I was working on at the moment, I was actually going to go in here and smelt some of the silicon into the air so that I've got some silicon to make up those insulated tanks. Because I want to get I want to get insulated tanks to put all of this hot gas into and then I'll put the furnace in and then I'll have systems to control where everything goes. I hope. Yeah, no power is... Power is always a fairly constant battle in Station Is. You can definitely get yourself to a point where you're fairly comfortable once you've got big batteries and lots of solar on most planets. Or most starts, I should say, because a lot of them aren't planets. Uh, but, yeah, it does, does take a bit of work. So my thinking with the um the setup from the advanced furnace is I'll have a branching setup that goes straight into the oxygen filter and just goes straight through so it, all of the regular gas just goes straight through the oxygen filter so the oxygen always gets filtered out straight away rather than being recycled that would be my goal here thanks Shale thank you for the gift sub thank you very much Um, as having it cycle around in this is not ideal. That pressure is also getting fairly high. How are we looking? 106 degrees. 172 moles. At least my filtration system is relatively efficient, even given the small quanti like small percentage that I'm working with. I'm quite proud of that. Come back to that in a minute. Uh, let's change my suit battery. Let's check this again to see what else I needed. I need some copper as well. Let's take a little bit of copper through. Uh, oh, silicon's done. Nice. How's my oxygen temperature? Very hot. How's my efficiency? Eh, it could be worse. Oh. <laughs> uh. So this one's at 0%. This one's at 5%. And I don't think I'm going to get this any cooler than this. Nuts. I'm going to need to create some additional cooling loops, I think. Because this is real hot. Uh, Ryuki, Nev, you would have met on the Station Ears Terraformers series that I did on my YouTube channel. Uh... He does not make his own videos, no. How is the new hygiene and chicken mechanic working? Well, the hygiene mechanic is making me chew through... Someone correct me. Food and water. Maybe power more quickly. But I think food and water. Which means, in my current circumstance, that's kind of causing problems. Thanks, Spartus. Thank you for the Prime Sub. 
Um, chickens I have not done anything with yet. I think chickens are a uh, long time away for me here. I should probably go out and check if there's another trader because I don't want to miss the chance to get a seed trader. Get these gold bars through first though. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 bits, unidentified flying cheese. It's a mouthful, but I have fun saying it, so I keep saying it in full. Thanks for the prime sub drive disaster. Whoa, elemental. <laughs> Thank you for the thousand bits. Galactic metallurgy. Hmm. Oh, and another cosmic tools. Yeah, I'm not uh, remotely aligned to the galactic metallurgy. Probably spun that further than I needed to. Oof. Slow. Thanks, Cincy Mac. Thank you for the 100 bits as well. Hygiene affects mood. Mood affects food train rate. It's just food. Uh, oh, that was a bit quicker. 70 degrees. Is there a bathroom trader? Uh, that's not going to help me. Because I need the water to run it. No, Leo Wolf. Uh, there are no vehicles in the game. I mean, it's probably more accurate to say there are no vehicles than there are vehicles because the vehicles that there are don't work. And are creative mode only and are potentially going to be completely removed from the game because they can't figure out a reason to have vehicles in the game. That makes sense within the way the game works. Like you just don't need vehicles. You don't travel far enough to ever warrant a vehicle. There are rockets though. Thanks, Shale. Thank you for the 100 bits as well. Three, did I go too far? I might have. Or maybe I need to angle up. Or down. Okay, so that definitely went further. see how that work goes. Okay, that's worse. That's more like it. Hydration critical. Huh. Okay, so I'm one side, 18, 9, 9, okay, let's just contact. Ah, oh dear. I don't know how they'd make stationers. Like, the game would have to be completely rebuilt from the ground up, I think, to make vehicles make sense. It'd be a totally different game loop. Because you'd need to have resources further away and all that sort of stuff, and that just gets a bit awkward. Aha! You can sell ores to this guy. Okay, let's go mine some, some iron and go sell it to him. Get some money. <laughs> thanks, Paladolf. Thanks for the hundred, the one hundred and twenty-three bits. Oh, 
more gold. I'll collect that while I'm here. No harm in that. Oh. Moderate amount more gold. Need to keep an eye on my oxygen because my waste tank's actually quite full. Should probably head inside, actually. Oh, and I need to make new filters too. Right, I'll do. Let's see what I can sell. Waste tanks at 94%. Let's get into that airlock. Come on, come on, come on. Probably didn't need to do that that way, but that's fine. That's dealt with. Uh, uranium is hoped to have a use where you make nuclear reactors. That's the plan for uranium. Uh, quite in-depth involved nuclear reactors. Thanks, Broke. Thanks for the prime sub. I'm presuming I just put this in the vending machine to then sell it to this guy. So, there we go. I got a thousand euros. Right. Do I want to buy some invar? What is the process for invar? Is it an annoying one? Yes. Given my current setup, yes, that is an annoying one. Uh, let's buy some invar. Oh, it's expensive though. I buy like 20 of it? Or maybe 30? Yeah, let's do it. See ya. Three minutes till the next one. Uh, Invar seemed like the only challenging one for me to get. Let's see, can you make a waste tank empty in station so you can stop releasing your waste oxygen? Ah, Malakat, I'm recovering my waste oxygen by going in here, but yes, I probably should make an actual emptying station. That would make a lot of sense. <laughs> that is something I should have done a long time ago. So that I could empty it easily, have it filtered, and then come back. But, yeah. Yeah, that is the thing I should do. It may happen eventually. Really stop carrying around all this extra junk. Okay. Um, copper. Some of the gold out here. Add it to the endless to-do list. Yep. Oh, base power is low. Yeah, having an empty or... Having an empty canister in there for hot swapping is always a good idea as well.
All I'm trying to do right now is get the materials I need so I can make an insulated tank. That's literally my goal right now. I just want to make an insulated tank so that I can start working on my new furnace setup. Oof, that's hot. And I probably need to make another AC so I can run an extra loop to make it more efficient. Um, silicon goes in. Should be able to get two of these, which is good. Hey, Bebel Bomb. Um, hey, Zero. Nope, there is no ice I can mine here. None at all. So I just want to make sure that I've got all of the various components that I actually need here. So I need to start thinking through what components are required. I think... I think I do have everything. Because I want to have a hot tank and I want to have a cool tank. Or a waste tank. Just trying to think what else I need. The main reason I want to check now is because I don't want to dismantle this whole thing and then have to rebuild it. <laughs> Just to get the uh, one bit that I missed. Okay, so I need to get the steel out of here. Because I want to make some more flooring for in there. Let's get some steel frames. Uh, no, Shale. I, I can't do solar... F well, I can't do the type of solar I want to do first. I have to do the furnace first. Because I need the advanced furnace to make the high-tier alloy that the um, solar panels require. I can't, I can't make it with the basic furnace. What I might do... Oh. I was going to say I was going to put a full wall in here. But apparently I put this tank in the wall. Valves for the gas filter. I should have enough ga valves because I've got the pumps in there, which are going to be the valves. The various things. But I guess I should make another atmospherics unit. At least one. Which is only iron, gold, and copper, so it's nothing advanced. So I don't need to worry. Because I can do that with the arc furnace. Um... Alright, that should be enough frames, I think, to lay down the flooring area and dig out a bit more of space for in the furnace room. And let's get some more steel sheets. Yeah, Elemental, the birds are being really annoying with the rain. Actually, I can see this one. They annoy you back. Five seconds.
sitting right outside my window. Like it could not have been in a worse spot for noise. <laughs> Dang bird. That's <sighs> a noisy miners. Oh yeah, I need to make a filter. Uh, what's got iron? It might go smelt some iron. Oh, that's, wait, that's iron there, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you for the reminder on the filters. The birds are going to come immediately back to where they were. Yep. Straight back. <sighs> right, that should be enough steel. Light. For now. Let's go in and expand this area a little bit before I deal with my drinking problem or lack of drinking problem problem with lack of drinking probably a better way to phrase that less fun though Okay, so I'll dig this out and start putting down the tanks and then figure out how on earth I want to organize things around here. I am certain I'm going to need to redo this furnace room more than once, but hopefully I can at least improve it from its current setup. That's the goal. Just get it a bit better. down. Oh no, fell in a hole. Get out of the hole. Mini drone needed for minor removal. Yeah. Yeah. It is unfortunate that they like to hang out right on my shed, right outside the window. I think I'm digging deeper into the mountain right now, so I should be okay going the direction that I'm headed. Uh, with, that's why I decided to dig this way rather than the other way. I think it's safe-ish. Safe-ish. Do need to get more wall in there, so I'm not going to dig that way. Um, I'm not sure whether they'd be put off by any particular bird of prey or anything like that. It is something I've considered though, and just have not gotten around to finding one that I thought was actually going to work. To try and deter them from hanging out on my roof. trouble with miners is they're 
pretty arrogant little birds. They don't really get scared by much. They're, they're very, they're very sure of themselves. Like I literally just then had to get within about 30 centimeters of the branch that they were sitting on to shake it to get them to fly off. And they still came immediately back. Here's an idea, small capac scarecrow with auto waving arms. Yeah, that would actually be quite fun. <laughs> oh yeah, my health is low. Alright, I should deal with the water situation. Pretty sure, oopsie, that something that shoots salt with enough force to kill an insect would be illegal in Australia. That seems very unlikely to be something that would be allowed here. Okay, I've got food, water. Let's go in. Oh yeah, slingshots are very illegal. Temperature high. Low pressure. Oxygen critical. Come on, come on, come on. Drink. My health will now start going up. Maybe a pointy stick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think my neighbors would be too pleased with me firing, um, like, a starter gun or something like that. To try and scare off the birds. And don't really blame them for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting a cat. <laughs> My partner hates cats. Uh, to the extent she's terrified of them. And I, I wouldn't want... So it would be bad for a cat to be out there anyway, because... Um, the noisy miners are actually a native bird, so you sh we definitely should not be letting things hunt them. I think that was... Yeah, it's, that's the Wow. I'm amazed, Chuck. Captain Seaman in the Space Monkeys was on Amazon Prime. I might have to have a look and see if I if it's on Prime in Australia as well. That's cool.
Okay. Check for other trader. That's what I should be doing. Uh, come on. Yeah, I was thinking of um, Space Gas Station. I had thought of getting a Super Soaker. Frosty Barrels? The heck is Frosty Barrels? Oh, that sucks, Jilla. Dang it. Huh. That's an interesting thought, MWG. Though, <laughs> while I don't have a cat that hunts birds, I do have a dog that does. So having a bird bath or a any sort of um, bird attractant, like a bird feeder, might be able to get them away from my shed, but would also attract them into range of Charlie. Which would be bad. Alright. Can I sell anything that I've got to you? No. Oh. Bulk carbon dioxide, though. Eventually I'll be able to sell that to them. Another five minutes. Jeez. Had I realized the RNG, I'm not sure I would have changed the order I did things in, but I may have tried to get the landing pad up sooner. Alright. Copper comes out here. Bell goes over here. Just thinking. Do I take apart my furnace setup and start building the new one now? Am I ready? Um, all I read about ultrasonic sort of stuff to keep the birds away was that it annoyed dogs and cats more than it did the birds. And I don't want to do that to Charlie. Oh, insulated pipes. Yeah, I need a lot of insulated pipes. That is a good point. Need to smelt some more silicon. How is the cooling going in here? Not. <laughs> That's how it's going. Yeah. That means I... I've I'm glad I made the extra steel because I need insulated pipes to run everywhere. I might put this down over here and start trying to work out the system for it. What does it need? No. Oh. Electronic parts? No. Oh. Wait a second. Do they require something fancy? I think they do. I think this is the step I always forget. Oh, no, they don't. Just basic stuff. That's fine. Um, I was going to disassemble my existing one and then assemble the new one, but I'm thinking with the amount of space I cleared out, I might be able to assemble the new one before disassembling the old one. Which 
would obviously be preferable. There we go. So if I just branch off the existing one and then okay. disassemble it when I get there. When I get to that. But I need to get this cooling done. think what I may have to do oh I know how to get the cooling set up better should be fairly easy to set up too um let's grab some pipes instead of putting the heat into the existing exhaust pipe I should just connect it to the outside directly Because that's going to be cooler than my furnace a lot of the time. Okay, it, has now, it now has an efficiency of 2%, which might just make enough difference. Oof. 0.4%. Maybe not. Whenever you say I know how to do this, it's going to be easy. It always seems to end up more complicated than anything else you'd considered before. Maybe. Thanks, Corbin. Thank you for the tier three sub for five months. Thank you very, very much. Honestly, Chuck, it's been so long since I saw Captain Simon in the Space Monkeys. I have no idea what Dr. Splitty even sounds like anymore. Okay. Let's um let's get that other atmospherics unit because I am actually running so low on oxygen that I do need to fix this bit up before I do the rest of the furnace. Um to do that, I need to make an atmospherics kit. Prize gold and copper. Gold and And I probably want to put some silicon in here so I can make insulated pipe. And then I'll need to put some steel in there too, which is in here. Air tank critical. Yeah, I'm down to 1300 kPa in there. That's not good. Uh, change my battery over, put some power in the base. Huh. Okay, got the atmospherics kit. Let's get some insulated pipe. I need more silicon. You can only get five of them. That is not enough. But I possibly don't need uh, insulated pipe here. But the specific bit I'm working on right now, the atmospherics, uh, the cooling part. So I'll just leave these being manufactured until this space fills up. And let's get this thing working. Um, 
Yeah, this should work. Okay, so what I want to do first is add a bit more CO2 to this loop. Because I'm going to be duplicating it. Oh, I need more cables. Not enough. It might be required for construction. Uh, no. Uh, having non-insulated pipes is really easy to deal with now because you've got an up. You can upgrade them in situ. So it's fine. It actually really doesn't matter to start with non-insulated pipes and have to upgrade them later. No longer a big deal. I mean, it never really was that big a deal because you could always just. Remove one, replace it. Remove one, replace it. Remove one, replace it. It does cost extra resources, but it's a tiny bit of iron, which is not a big deal. Um, if you're at that point where you, it's getting done, it's certainly not... Like right now, the steel and silicon are more. I'm more tied on. Okay, I think I'm good. No, I came in. Oh, dang it. I went out there to go get. Some more copper through the smelter. Wish the upgrade would work for cable as well. Yeah, that would be quite handy. be able to upgrade to heavy cable in situ as well. I wonder if they'll do that now that they've done the piping. Uh, there's copper here. How much copper have you got in you? You can take some more. Let's get some cable. Ah. <sighs> Hey, Merlin. Uh, I am, at the moment, being pulled in several directions at once and struggling to make good progress on any of them. <laughs> I need to get my oxygen cooled, and I think that's more important than getting my furnace set up. But I've started toward getting my advanced furnace set up. I'm trying to keep an eye on traders to see whether I can get a seed trader. Um, and it's probably about time for me to go out there and check it. So I'll do that. Frosty Barrels Asteroid Artisans. What do you sell? Come on. You sell. I might buy this labeler. <laughs> Buy that. Boxes, spray cans, angle grinder, hand drill, remote detonator, remote explosives, welding torch, welding fuel, wire cutters, screwdriver, crowbar, fire extinguisher, steel sheets, plastic sheets, glass sheets, cable coil, and pipe. Okay. See ya. How long till the next one? Oh, 13 minutes. Quite a while. 
the wind generators are doing a very, 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 very small amount for me. And then every now and then, and then they do a lot for me during a storm. Oh, nice. It comes with battery. Now, once I get this oxygen cooling loop improved, I think I will then focus on getting a purge things. Oh, no, that's going to be aligned with my new build. My new furnace, actually. That's going to work better. Okay. Table. I think I did this around the wrong way. I might actually take the part. The reason I say I think I did that around the wrong way is that if I do it this way round, the cabling works for when I do the air conditioner as well. to pipe from uh, the direct outdoor link to my input. My unfiltered can just go directly back out. And then my filtered, I may not have enough pipes for, but should go back into that other CO2 loop. Should be connected up to that one. The oxygen situation is getting scarier. It It is and it isn't. I've got at least as much oxygen waiting to cool down as I have in my big tank at the moment. Um, so I'm not as horrible on that front as you might think. If I can get it cool enough to breathe it. Which is a big if. Oh, it's... <sighs> Do you actually leave your base in this game? Uh, yes. I try to leave it as little as possible, though, because outside is really hot. And the way that my suit cools itself is by... <coughs> um, dumping heat into my waste tank. Uh, which it does by putting my fresh air into my waste tank to cool it down. So I burn through my oxygen supply and put it into my waste tank quite rapidly. Which I stupidly didn't uh, properly deal with in the early game and left myself in a situation where I was throwing away a whole lot of oxygen. I, I did make a bit of an error with that in the early stages. And threw away a lot of O2 that I didn't need to. But that's correct, isn't it? 
that's the CO2 closed loop, I think. Let me just make sure. Yep. That's from the filtered. And we can turn you on. And keep an eye on the volume. So you have 270 moles. So what I kind of want to do is pump this in here till I've got, I don't know, 400 moles of gas. Because I'll split it then between the two air conditioning systems. All the pipes are making me think of an old Windows screensaver. Anyone got a mod to put a teapot in as a junction occasionally? Hmm. I, I definitely feel like I will get to the point where this spaghetti will be both more and less scrutable. Like, it'll make more sense if you know what it's trying to do, but there'll be more of it, so it'll make less sense if you don't have any inkling what it's trying to achieve. Uh, seven megapascals, is that going to be enough to dump heat into? Maybe I'll take it up to 10 megapascals. I think in the back room at work. Wow, mead maker, hopefully you don't get caught. Yeah, 10 megapascals will be enough. I think. Turn you off. Take the filter out. And disassemble. And just quickly check that I didn't... Nope, still good. Okay, before I put the air conditioner in, let's remove these other pipes just to make sure I don't mess things up. Okay, so... This air conditioner should be dumping heat into... this pipe loop here. Which I will reconnect to its output. Like so. And then it goes into the input on the one that will be here. I probably put that in the wrong spot. Yeah, this is going to work. It may not be enough to cool it down consistently, but it is a functional setup, or should be a functional setup. Same as the other one. Um, let's go. Pipes go in this. Cables go in this. With screwdriver. Okay, so waste needs to connect up to the ceiling and output. No. Yes? Oh yeah, input-output connects to the same thing, yeah. 
And then I need to connect this up to the ceiling. And we're good. In theory, I have improved the efficiency of this setup. In practice, we will, uh, in a moment, determine by how much and whether it is enough. Okay, we're starting at 120, 380, and 397. Air tank low. This is saying it's a... Oh, I'm out of power. Dang it! <laughs> uh... Timing. Always the timing. Wow, Malakat, that was quick. I believe in you, Splitzy. Never mind, Faith lost. Okay, let's try this again. So that's in, that's connected to outside. That's at 411 degrees. So what's efficiency of this? Apparently 54%, 53%, and 0%. So the hope would be that this can cool down enough. So the air conditioner needs to cool this loop down enough that then this one can cool this loop down enough. It's not doing me... doing much. Operational temperature efficiency, temperature differential efficiency. Hmm. I know people say you need like seven of these in a sequence for this to work ideally on Venus. I'm just hoping I can get at least somewhere toward that with three and get close enough to something that's breathable. And I'm losing faith that that's going to be possible. <laughs> As it would appear... I'm struggling to get even this gas down below 400 Celsius. Yeah, the idea of these two air conditioners is that they just cool until they run out of efficiency. This one, however, only needs to drop it to 30 degrees. It doesn't need to go any, any lower than that, so it would be a waste to set it up at more than that. Oh, my temperature differential efficiency is going up. Woo! Yeah, I suppose I've got a lot more gas in these pipe networks than I possibly want. I maybe should have kept these smaller volumes to move the temperature efficiency. I didn't think that through. These should have been tiny, tiny, tiny volumes. Not big volumes. I wanted less gas, not more. But yeah, once it gets... Once it gets cool enough, this should be good. But yeah, I've, I've definitely overcooked. We'll just leave that for a while. Let's go and check the next trader. Should be ready. I do prefer plate up over overcooked. That is true. Ooh. 
before I go outside. Let's get some more oxygen from my rapidly dwindling supplies. Galactic Gush. What the heck is that going to be? Let's find out. 56 from contact. Let's go this way. I'm going to guess that was the wrong way. Could be water. Nope, that's worse. Twenty seven. Still twenty seven. Six. Oh man, is that gonna work at 25? Yeah, let's just do it. Be slow, but it'll get there. See it else. I do still have my three emergency oxygen bottles. Yes, that's why I've got them there as emergencies. Hope to avoid using them. What do you sell? Bulk water, bulk liquid nitrogen, bulk liquid oxygen, bulk liquid volatiles, water canisters, liquid nitrogen canisters, liquid oxygen canister, liquid volatiles canister, and emergency water. And you will buy ice. What? You sell all that and you'll buy ice? Alright, yeah. Nothing from you. See ya. For the next one. So what I'm going to do now is get a volume pump and pump out some of that CO2 from those pipes. So I can probably do it without having a proper pump. Uh, I just need a vent or a... what's the... What's the thing that goes on the end of the pipe called that I always forget the name of? Cowl. Need a pipe cowl. I'm just gonna go smelt some iron. Watching the oxygen leave and crying a little bit. No, 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 no. It's fine. It'll totally be fine. I'm I'm doing this to add to my own challenge because that's a challenge that I think I can achieve and I'd really like to see if I can. And if I just keep buying oxygen, then I'm really not challenging myself in the way that I want to. And that's a bit sad. Uh, my plan here will be just to put the valve on each of these circuits and just equalize it into this space in here until um, I'm at a pressure that I'm happy.
hey, if I start ending up with tons and tons of skulls because I didn't get the oxygen, that's fine. That just means I need to learn some things before I attempt the challenge again. On a scale of one to space engineers, how easy is station is? Um, three. Yeah, it's probably a three. I'll just wait for this to go to vacuum first. So I don't want any pollutants in the pipes. I believe in your directional instinct for creating challenge and tension. Let's see, but it's just a lot of tension. Yeah, yeah. Uh, glitch. Uh, sorry, low end. Space engineers is hard. Anyone who says otherwise is is kidding themselves. Space Engineers has a lot of quirks and a lot of things you got to learn, and it is a hard game to learn. It takes time and practice. That's still hotter. Uh, just a teens a bit more and station is has so has some more difficulty beyond that but because you don't have moving parts in station is there's more predictability to an outcome than you would always get in space engineers so that does bring it down a bit but because it's Chemical engineering versus mechanical. I think it's a bit more difficult on that front. Anti-critical. Uh, we know we're still not a vacuum. Give me vacuum. Two Pascals. Two! This room's getting too big for that little vent. I'll have to get an extra large vent in here eventually. Are you saying that ice falling out of the airlocks was predictable? Uh, yes. Yes, it was predictable. Um... But we lacked a piece of information that would have made it more predictable. Uh, the piece of information we lacked was we didn't realize that they disabled the formations of formation of ice within the global atmosphere, but it will still happen within a room. So the airlocks are always going to be the rooms connected to the outside atmosphere, so that's where all the ice will collect. And it happens very... Uh, predictably. Uh, James, my waste tank I dump out here, which then gets sucked into this air vent, which then I can collect the O2 off to use up. So I am I am collecting it, I just don't have a dumping canister, like a proper draining spot. I just open it in the airlock. 
The trouble with space engineers is sometimes you have the information and you still don't know the outcome. <laughs> Just where it can become quite tricky. Because that's the nature of physics simulations with imperfect values. Come on. Oh, this is so annoying waiting for this. 0.06 pascals. Would it be beneficial to add another vent? Yes. Am I going to add one when I'm in the process of upgrading the furnace setup? No. Uh, I don't normally have to hang around and wait for the thing to go to vacuum. But I do in this instance just because I'm about to push well I'm about to equalize a pipe network with this which would be there we go bad to get pollutant into okay 5.8 megapascals Five point one. Health low. Three, two, one. I'll do. Seven hundred ten kilopascals. That's a bit better. Now let's see, is that fixing all, is that enough to make this work? 84 degrees we're down to. 244 on that one. So there's 100 degrees difference in there. There's 120 degrees difference in there and then we're down to 83. Temperature differential efficiency 2%, 7% and 9%. Yeah. That's probably all I needed to do. Could off gas this loop. Which I think I might do. While I'm set up to do it. Um, let's check the pressure now. Six. Four. Three. I'll do. So that should just speed up the equilibration of all of this setup, as opposed to actually making it run any better. It just means that I'll get this cooler sooner. Alright, let's get out of there because it's hot in there at the moment. Until that CO2 gets cleared. Um, it's a pole in the thing. Change my suit. Battery over. Check on the computer outside and see if I can call a new trader. Not yet. It still says 15 minutes. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Either way, my waste tank is getting very full, so I'm going inside. And I'm going to eat and drink. And fix that. Thanks, Ares. Thanks so much for the two gift subs.
And I need water, food, cycle. This exterior door close. Exterior active vent. Oh. Open. Unlock. Open. Eat. Drink. Close. Lock. Okay. Vent. Vent. Open door. Connect door. Remove disk. Process complete. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're down to very low pressure in here. How is this going? 63 degrees. Ugh! It is still going down, though. Maybe it'll get down to breathable temperatures. Because we're at 2% efficiency still. And 5%. And 6%. That, that should get there. Uh, Johnny, honestly, I just keep forgetting what the hotkey is for opening and closing the helmet, because I've always got it locked. <laughs> just why I keep using the manual and clicking on the thing. I probably should use the hotkey. Um, that looks like it's slowed down. That looks like it's probably ready for another 10. Oh... No, all goes in. Then we'll go mess with the thing outside and see if I can get a trader and finally get some seeds, maybe. Oh, 30 seconds. See you, gents. <sighs> Why did the countdown stop at 13 seconds? Hello? No one. Oh. What's the easiest start on the game? I would argue Mars is the easiest and the best place to start. Because you've got some planetary atmosphere to work with to get CO2 for your greenhouse, and that makes things quite a lot simpler. Uh, the temperatures aren't too wild. So yeah, I'd say Mars is the best start to begin with. Nine degrees... Fifteen? Seven by seven? Jeez. I don't think I'll be getting cosmic clouds to clouds to arrive. If you want, I think I made that worse. Start tank low. Thirty six. Twenty six. Oh, nope. Don't jump down there. 37. Okay. Mm. 
Hey, nice. Come on down. Okay, what have you got? Duct tape, batteries, cereal bars, water bottles, filters, flares. Nah. Nothing that I want. See ya. 20 minutes and then I can have another look. Yes, the hand sanitizer, yes. It's very expensive, though. Uh, yeah. Need to make sure I label things in here before I uh, close the game down for today. Whenever that happens to be. Just look at my label maker thingy of the airlock. Okay, so... Output from the advanced furnace needs to be able to be passed through a filter system and then be able to fed back into the furnace through a heater. Uh, my base is a vacuum, yes. Um... So input, no, that's the output connection. This is the input. Whoops, did that the wrong way around. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go and make some more uh, of these pumps. So I don't have to dismantle this setup. If it ends, it's going to end up with me having more pumps, but I think that's fine. Oh man, I wish I could do something about those birds. They're driving me insane this morning. I think it's because of the rain. They're hanging out a lot closer to the shed. <laughs> okay. Pump, 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 pump. Not pump and circumstance. Pump. Volume pump. Let's get four of them. Uh, there are better pumps than I have, yes. There are uh, high volume pumps or something. Um... This will eventually become my cool off-gassing furnace. Uh, but it's not yet, and it I'm not planning or I'm planning around having it as part of the loop is probably gonna be more than my brain can handle in terms of getting it organized. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. So what do I want? I want a loop that goes from the output to the input via the filters, via, via the oxygen filter, to take the oxygen out and then allow that to gas to be reheated. So if we go output, actually let's swap to the... Oh no, this, this side makes no sense. So this will be my hot gas storage. Let's label it. Okay, we'll 
got hot gas storage, which then should be connected straight to the input. Input is there. Then, I want this output. This is totally going to need to be reworked, and I'm just trying to get it close to what I want on the first attempt. Um, this is going to need to go into a filtration setup, which I'll probably put right here. So I might actually make this go up to the ceiling so I can walk through. And, yeah, it goes in from that side. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't need the extra valves that I have at the back of this furnace, because this furnace includes its own valves. And pumps. But, once it comes out of here, which will be out the front, it'll be, I think, there. I want this to be able to then... Probably, this should connect to cool gas storage. And then I can have a pump that takes from cool gas storage into hot gas storage uh, when I'm able to. Like as in when, I've, when I'm safe to push that through, I can push that through. Yeah. Does it, I think this makes sense. So basically, I take hot gas from this tank. It goes into the furnace. It gets me up to the pressure I want. I probably also need to have a way to get cool gas into here. So actually, I want this a bit different. I need to be able to pump into this volume here. And that's how I get the hot gas in. Hmm. Mixing valve. A mixer valve? Oh, a mixer valve seems like a very... Uh, a difficult way to manage it. But so does this. But yeah, a mixer valve might be a good way to go. Just trying to think through how likely I am to get the mix right. <laughs> But I guess I can just adjust the mix. Oh no, I need the I need the cool gas pump. I need the cool gas to be able to get into this tank so it can then be heated up because this will be attached to a heating loop. But then I also need a way to get gas from outside atmosphere into this as well. Hmm. Okay, we need more silicon. So let's chuck some in here now. Let's check the oxygen. 31 degrees! Winning! Look at all that delicious oxygen going in there. 
Now up to 1.6 megapascals. I might switch this off now. One point seven. Woo. I would have just heard bad noises. Maybe I'm just hearing the furnace through the floor or something. So you are at five sixty two. You are at 429. Uh, what's the pressure in here? 49. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That's what's whinging. Um, we need to turn you on, turn you on, and get that oxygen out of there to try and reduce the pressure a little bit. And I need to go make some little inline tanks. To enlarge the storage capacity of that tank network. Because <laughs> that was... That was very... Uh, uh, not good. That could have been very bad. I thought I might as well do these while I'm waiting for things. This will hopefully stop me having to redo these at the start of the next stream. If there is air in the room, would the machinery make noise? Yes, this game accurately reflects sounds in a vacuum. Which is pretty cool. Uh, how's that going for the pressure? Down to 32 megapascals. That's better. Just need a piece of pipe from somewhere. connect another one. Uh, let's grab that. Which apparently uses exactly the same amount of pipe as the cross. Grrr. Okay. Uh, yeah. If here will probably work. Hopefully. 24 megapascals. Nice. And how much oxygen is in this? 58 moles. Start getting more of the gas out. Now we're looking for oxygen in here. 26 moles. All right. This is going okay. I've made some progress, but I still need to make more. Let's get some more silicon smelted. Probably going to need to get some more steel made, but I might have enough. That's down to 8 megapascals in there. And this is at... Okay, I think I can completely empty out the furnace. This time. Huh. 
Insulated pipe. Need a lot more of that. What else do I need? Oh, it's hard to think. I should just need the insulated pipe and then a whole lot of uh, cable. And then in theory I should have uh, enough stuff to get that advanced furnace hooked up. Then I can dismantle the existing furnace and try and set it up as a cold furnace. Yeah. Progress is slow, but progress is being made, I think. How many pieces of pipe do I need? I'm thinking like 40? I don't really want to leave it um, making them while I walk out the into the other room. And ah, uh, because I'm going to need a lot of wires, so I'm likely to need more than just the fifty. That's why I'm crafting them. So I was going to give myself two stacks. And honestly, there is never a situation where you have too many wires. Anti-critical. Except maybe when you have just one more than a stack. Because <laughs> it gets annoying. We can have a new furnace set up on a different circuit. That's sort of the idea I'm thinking of. If I have the old furnace as my... Here, I'm going to chuck everything in here and get it off-gassed. And then I put those off-gassed things into the new furnace. I think that should work better. But, it and it also may be a thing I can use to do some heat exchange with the cooling loop to make it more efficient as well. But that's getting a bit more advanced than I'm ready for just yet. Okay, so I can pump from... Wait a second. What have I done? Yeah, that's that's right. And then there's another one. This one will then go over to my cooling loop because this is my oxygen supply. This is going to be much harder to follow until I can get this painted. Much. So that needs to connect up to this part here. Eh. 
easier from this side. Although, if I'm getting rid of that filter. Probably can get rid of that filter now, actually. Or maybe I'll just make a new one. Oh! I'm, I'm trying not to build too many duplicates, but I honestly think I'm probably making my life way too hard by not doing that. And so, another atmospherics kit. Iron and copper. Got copper. Let's get some iron made. Yep. yep. Battery's okay for the moment. Yeah, it's true. I will need more air conditioners as well. Um, I'm going to need a whole bunch of other stuff. So it's not like if anything I make here is going to be that useless, but I'm still trying to be more efficient. I think I'm making my life too hard. I have it on very good authority that things don't work proper properly until they have been properly color coded. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of orange in here for a while. Though I think it's not going to be that long before I can... Like, if I get this furnace working, it then won't be that hard to go from working furnace to... Um, brain? Function? Please? Uh, working... What? Oh, to tool printer. Why did my brain not get there? I do have a separate power input for the furnace room, yes. I, um... I probably want to run another heavy cable in there, though. Because I probably want to have a separate transformer just for the pipe heaters, because then I could have them all flick on and off with that one transformer and use that switch, use the switch on the transformer as the control for the pipe heaters being on or off. Uh, I think that would be a better setup. Certainly a bit easier to use in some regards. Okay, let's get oxygen. Filter. Yep, I am living like a caveman. I'm going to be living like a caveman forever, though. This is Venus. I don't think I can really live on the surface. Do you want to take the skull? I wanted to throw that on the ground. Filtration. Oh. I need pipe to build it. I forgot about the pipe. Yeah, the whole base could use some decoration and style and niceness, but honestly, it's so hard to do that when there's survival stuff that's somewhat urgently needed. So even I find it difficult to go for style when I actually have time, semi-time critical other stuff going on. Now, where am I going to put the cable these things through? Uh, let's go that way. Let's get wire cutters. Stuff can stuck in there. I can go to there. Okay, yeah, I'm really close to punching through that wall. 
It's lucky I haven't pushed any further this way. Actually, I can't... No, I can't do that. I think I have to cable through this, like that, which is ugly. I'm not super keen on it, but once I get the wall built, I can probably do something differently. Come on, connect up to where I want you to. There we go. So that's connected all that up. And I can probably just run this off the back of the existing filter for now. So in theory, this oxygen filter, if I'm going to off-gas always in the other furnace, shouldn't be needed, but... I'm going to pass the other furnace through this as well, so I'll just use the one for the one uh, oxygen collector for both. The reason I think I should have an oxygen filter for this furnace anyway is because there's a high chance I will forget and not off-gas some gold at some point as well. Um, okay... Need to connect up furnace power. Then, what I need is some pipes heading over here, which are going to be the heat up array. I think I'll set it up so it can have five. Because that's as much as a standard transformer can take. Like so. Actually, five can probably be done by getting rid of those two as well. Do one, two, three, four, five. And that's on my heating loop. So that'll heat up this tank. Are there any other gases you might want to filter out of the furnace exhaust? Yes, eventually, but and right now oxygen is the only one that's important. Um, I will probably have a full filtration system in the distant future. But for now, I do not. So that's almost empty. We can turn that off. This has no O2 left in it, so we can turn this off. Which has given me another 90 moles of O2 here, which we can chuck through into our bigger tank. Might take us up to 1.85, maybe 1.9 megapascals. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, <laughs> power generation and storage are negligible right now. Power generation and storage are something I'm working on after I get this furnace set up. And that's going to do. I shall just leave that running until it empties. Because then I'll remove all of this. Connect up. Because then I can remove this setup as well. Power critical. Which will give me a bit more room to play with. Yep. 
yeah, we're not going to see full insulated tanks for selling stuff anytime soon. That's, no. <laughs> but, it's in my head as a thing to do. Build ink. Okay. What's that angle? 53. Did I really allow 30 degree oxygen coming back to my tank? Yeah. Because my suit is cooled to 30 degrees. So it's perfect. Eh. Come on, be quicker about this. 55. I think that's quicker. 46. That made that much worse. Yeah, that's pretty... Uh, that's not quite good enough. Oh, man. No, I made that worse. I need to go the other way. Let's see if I can do... Oh, I can't do 28. Dang it. I'm gonna go. I have to go inside. Oh, actually, I got a little bit more time. Um. Hunger critical. 38. Why? Was weird. Still 38. Oh man. Thirty three. Twenty-eight. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Twenty-six. Air tank critical. Alright, I gotta go. Ah. <sighs> Thirty-six kilopascals of air in there. Ooh, hang on. Um, I have an idea. I think I can actually make a. Oh wait, no. That's why I haven't been doing that. Never mind. I was about to say. I've got enough materials and I can easily set up a thing to empty my waste tank, but if I do that, I can't use my waste tank to pressurize the airlock while I eat and drink. And I forgot to bring the eating and drinking components. That goes in there. Door gets unlocked. Canister gets opened. Unlock the helmet. Drink, drink, drink. 
Eight, eight, eight. Close the helmet. Lock the helmet. Remember to use the hotkey. Okay. That's sorted. Um, back outside. Seventeen, is that gonna be good enough? Yeah. Seventeen is good enough. Uh yes, Bean Beanie. Every time I try and walk out here, the high pressure outside is pushing me back into the airlock. What do you sell? Steel frames, kit walls, steel sheets, plastic sheets, glass sheets, cable coils and pipes. You buy stuff I don't want to sell you. Okay, see ya. Three minutes. Yeah, that whoosh is, uh, yeah, it's the air pushing against me. All right. Now I've completely lost track of where I was at. Let's have a look at what I can do with my furnace set up now. Can I move my gases around now? Should be able to. Okay, so let's first begin by... Getting the hot gases connected up to a hot gas thing temporarily. I can move them in there. Uh, which would be connected to that. Is my hot gases in it? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's the wrong way around. Okay. Um, what I probably want to do is actually grab that out, replace it with a pump, and start pumping through. Ah, uh, yes, all the rock is airtight. So, you can make airtight spaces with rock around you, which is very much required in this, I think. Right, let's empty that out. Uh, the way Space Engineers calculates airtight spaces, it can't have voxels be airtight. It's actually not possible. Because it does it based on faces of blocks. And because voxels are not blocks, it does not do. Hi, Peters.
Uh, how difficult is it to build airtight walls in this game? Not particularly. It's just can get resource intensive if you're trying to airtight a larger space in the early game, which is why for me building underground makes a lot more sense because I don't need to then build all my walls or ceilings and things like that, uh, which I would have to do otherwise. I should be able to turn off now. How are we going? Let's get down there. So once all that's done, I can then dismantle most of the piping around here. Because I'm going to be moving this furnace. It's not going to be in the way. I'm similarly going to move the arc furnace and this oxygen filter. So that I can move around here a bit more easily. I'm quite pleased. <laughs> um, Siam... There is no gas system in Space Engineers. It, it's not even really a gas system. Um, Station Ears is all about gases, so it is heaps better in that regard. But then the system that Station Ears uses would not work in Space Engineers. Because the only reason that it works here is because they don't have... Um, uh movable blocks because it works entirely on cubes that are established by at world creation the two games are just achieving very different things let's go get a transformer i'll go make some heavy cable Do I have a plan to repressurize the cave base with breathable atmosphere? Yes, I do. Um, the reason I haven't done it yet, or even made any vague attempts to do it yet, is that when I've pressurized spaces early in the game, I've tended to pollute those spaces or accidentally vent those spaces, and have then ended up in a much more dire situation than I began in. So instead of potentially running into that problem again, I'm waiting until I'm a bit more equipped before doing that. Um, there's just there's just too much risk of losing my whole oxygen supply if I say I'm expanding my area in here and it vents to atmosphere i've then lost all my oxygen and that's too easy to have happen and i just don't want to do it uh malakat if i lost furnace heat to a pressurized space i then have to figure out how to cool that pressurized space so it's the same problem just much less contained and my suit then has to cool itself down in that hot pressurized space. So that's worse. Far worse. I need a lot of heavy cable. I need to run one all the way around. Um through the airlock. Can I run it through the airlock or do I have to run it? Maybe I'll run it over here. I'll poke it out the wall. Hopefully I'll be able to see where it is from the other side. Do, do, do. do you think you can use this furnace system for heating the water you shower with um i could probably use the uh air conditioning system for that i 
Arguably, that might actually be a good use of that. Oh, I hate my cables. I hate my cables. Uh, I will eventually fix them. Eventually. Is that going to be enough? 12? I might need more. I might need more. Yeah, one of the intermediate loops could be the right size, uh, the right temperature. Yeah, anti gravity cables. They're my biggest bugbear. I wish there was a way, like some device we could put down that allowed cable crossovers on a flat surface that didn't interact with one another. Yeah, I should be able to do another trader in a second. I'm just going to try and cable this up. Yeah, I've been through a lot of traders so far. Yeah, junction box, exactly, Ceres. In fact, it'd be kind of cool... Oh, I have no idea where that cable is. It'd be kind of cool if you had a junction box where you could literally just draw connections between incoming and outgoing cables. So it's a full block across from the airlock. Okay. Should be. Oh, low. there. Uh. Oh, man. Yep, that's in line. Goes there. Then we put our transformer down. No! Transformers need a wall! Uh, oh. Oh. I have to do it this way. I can't place the wall that I want to place because I have a um the tanks in the way and I don't want to move the tanks yet. There we go. Oh no, it's... Am I out of power on the base? No. Why is that showing no power? Is that because no, nothing's drawing power? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Um. So that's almost empty. Let's go check on the trader again, and then we can come back in. And I think... I'd be ready for heating this gas up now. It's probably going to be slow to heat because there's a lot of gas in there. Um, oh. Get more air in 
in my air tank because that's going to force me to come back inside quickly. Air tank critical. I'm going to need to get a lot more gold <laughs> to try and get the oxygen I need. I really need plants! Space alloys! I don't want space alloys! This does not appear to be even remotely close to the angle I need. Oh, that's a bit better. Would space alloys help you help you get solar for power? Um, interesting. Interesting thought. Could I get Astraloy from them? We'll see. Eight, that's not particularly helpful. Need at least a medium tier to get Astraloy. Oh. Still, what do I need to actually make Astraloy now? Alright. 30 Kelvin and 30 mega... Sorry. 1000 Kelvin and 30 megapascals. I think that just got worse. Twenty-six. Eighteen. Sixteen. Hello. Okay, land. Um, yeah, don't. I'll see what this guy's got. So we got ingots of steel, solder, constantan, electrum, and invar. And Invar was the only one last time that I thought was worth it, so I guess I send you away again. And I have to hope I get lucky eventually. I'm still going to die before I get plants, aren't I? I think trading may actually be what I have to do, and I may have to go for oxygen that way. That sucks. I was hoping to use plants. Um, right, more coal. Ah, uh, you know what? Stop it. Put it all in. I'm leaving those pipe pipe heaters on for a bit. Buy food, that'll guarantee seeds next. It does feel like that would happen. Okay, that's empty. Good. Start dismantling. Actually, what temperature is this network at now? 454 Celsius. Pipe heaters do work through insulated pipe, right? Hmm. 
This is very slow. Oh yeah, it's slowly going up. There we go, 456. I'm going to need a lot more pipe eaters. Or to smelt some cobalt. Uh, let's dismantle a few things around here. Make sure they're empty. I do quite enjoy getting rid of the spaghetti <laughs> when I've got a better setup in place. Um, part of the reason that this, the heating is so slow is because this is a much larger volume of gases to what I was heating before because it's all of the gases that were in the furnace at once that had reached the pressures that I needed for the um, last thing I was smelting, which I've already forgotten. But I was hoping it wouldn't be quite that slow. <laughs> It is very slow. Okay. Um, right. What am I doing? These over there for now. Should dismantle this. There's a grinder, I think. Is there a better heater? Yeah, it's... Oh, crowbar. Combustion will generate more heat more quickly. But I need to... I need to feel like I'm in control of that combustion, and I worry that I won't be. Especially with it being nitrous oxide fueled. Let's get rid of this. Uh, oh. oh dear, what have I done? Made a mistake, I think? Maybe? I don't know. Need to remember what I actually need up there. Alright, now I can see that. Um... So, uh, how much gas do I have left in this? Oof, quite a bit. I now need to connect that up to this bit and have it pump through. And I can deconstruct this. Right, 
gives me easier access. Check that over there, there. So it's not in the way. What the heck is in this pipe? That'll be the oxygen. Oh, that's another reason I haven't pressurized the space. It's really easy to accidentally deconstruct your walls. And another reason why being underground is handy because you can't you can't as easily deconstruct your underground walls. We're going about that. Am I what? Oh, there. Okay, that'll empty that out. Yay, becoming neater. Get my wire cutters back. Clean this up too. I don't know if I'm going to need the external gas access anymore. But I'm just going to leave it up here for now. Because if I'm just heating... If I've got a large enough volume of gas here now, I shouldn't need it. But I may need somewhere to, echo, to shove stuff out in the future. Maybe. Okay. How's my heating up going? Four hundred and seventy-six. That is getting colder because of the gas I'm pushing in. Why are these flashing? Oh, I'm out of power. Okay. You know what? I'm making another battery. Power low. Being able to run the coal generator for longer, I think it'll be worth it. Probably should have done this ages ago. Hmm. Yeah, storage in the furnace room would probably not be a bad idea either. Annoyingly, Newell, yes, it is birds in the background. Let me go see where they are. One sec. I'll be right back. Maybe that's a little bit better? Maybe? 80% uh, My shirt is very low on oxygen We'll just make one battery. Where can I squeeze this battery in? Maybe there? Let's 
It's going to be tricky, though. Can it hover? Kind of. Okay. Hovering battery it is. Rolling torch, iron sheets. Okay. Now I should be able to put twice as much coal in without wasting any. Uh, there is a taller, bigger battery you can build, but I think it needs fancy stuff I don't have the capacity to make just yet. So... Where are we at heating wise? This needs to get up to 727 Celsius and it is currently at 487. It's going to take a very long time to get to that temperature, but the upshot of how I've set this up this time is that it will keep at that temperature much better because it's all insulated and there's a lot of gas there. Downside is it's going to take 10,000 years to get there. So. Let's see what we can do about that. Hey, D. Welcome, Raiders. How's it going? Um, it's part of me that wants to make another advanced furnace and not use this basic one at all. It's the basic one's kind of annoying. How expensive was the advanced one? <laughs> can I afford to make another one? I can, but should I? I think I should. I need to dump the copper out of here. No, there's no copper anywhere. That's... Arg. No. Um, all right, got to rehook up the air vent, and then I'll be able to use this arc furnace again. So, I probably want this going in over here into the pre-O2 bit, because it's going to be pulling in O2 that I vent out of my suit. This... And then that can just stay on. So then I will do this. Just put this back up directly for now. I don't know where I actually want to keep it. Okay. What little copper I have. Let's start it smelting. Uh, 
And I'm out of power. <laughs> Arg. Oh yeah, I'll be keeping the arc furnace, but the, it's the basic furnace that I'm tempted to get rid of and go to dual advanced furnaces instead of. Uh, because the basic furnace is a real pain. And more galactic gases. Well. I may have added to my skull collection. Maybe. Oh wait, these guys sell fuel, don't they? I could try and see if I could get a fuel mix bottle inside before I explode and die. <laughs> It'll be exciting, even if the if I do. Fifty-eight degrees. Forty-four. It's worse. Okay. That's good. Ah, mouse. Stop being so terrible. This mouse goes from either being way too sensitive to way too insensitive, and it's driving me a little bit nuts lately. Lately? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, you... I think you can put a shoot on the front of a vending machine. Bulk, bulk, bulk. Fuel. Water and nitrogen. Alright. Uh, let's just fix up my air tank situation before I do attempt this. I would rather not have the oxygen warning worries at the same time as dealing with this. Air tank critical. Hunger caution. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Drink, drink, drink. Oxygen critical. Okay, lock the helmet. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Okay, the vent should be pulling all that in. And the filter should be ready to pull it out. When I decide to start using it, that's fine. Got some more copper to bring through. Oh. That's... That's, um, not a lot of copper. I forgot it only did one gram. Yeah, I'm gonna have... I'm probably gonna have to cave and actually live as a trader, which sucks. Just because I haven't gotten lucky and gotten seeds. Curse you, RNG. Hang 
you know, make another one. Uh, you go back in there. You go back in there. You go in there. You go in there. And then I go outside. I attempt to buy this fuel canister and I see if I kill myself in flaming glory. I probably want to save the game quickly. Because <laughs> this could this could be game wipe territory if this goes wrong. Oh, this is not a good time for this. During a storm. Come on. Come on. Come on. You'd think the storm would sort out power, but it really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. It's frustrating. So what is this fuel mix? Ooh, it's got oxygen in it. Um... Okay. I want to take the oxygen out of it and possibly burn this with NOS instead of oxygen. Um... Okay, that's empty. Good. How hot is this? Is there much nitrogen oxide in it? There's none. Okay, that's good. What about this side? Nothing. Good. So, what I'm going to do is get the pipe utility. Gas tank storage. Uh, just shove it somewhere here. It doesn't really matter. Then I have to have a pump. Yep, wrong way. Boy. So if I do this, I can put the bottle in there, take it all out, it's probably going to ignite, and if it does, hopefully it won't explode the piping. Ooh, that's a tiny pipe. Uh, that could be bad. That will probably explode. Explode. Hmm. This could go badly. But we're on vacuum, so this should be okay. That'll hopefully make it a little bit better, maybe. <laughs> this is risky business. So what I'm planning on doing is taking the oxygen out of the fuel mix bottle, leaving me with just the hydrogen. And then I'll be attempt to mix that hydrogen with some nitrous oxide in the furnace so it can cook. Okay, so we put the canister in. It's now at very low pressure. Temperature is minus 18. Let's move it into here. Let's turn on the oxygen filter. We've now got volatiles in this pipe network. This pipe network has nitrous oxide. So when I eventually turn this pump on, I'm going to be putting hydrogen inside a 526 degree pipe with nitrous oxide.
Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the moles, there's not a lot. There's a tiny bit of nitrous in there, so hopefully it'll be okay. But hopefully it'll also heat it up. And an extra bonus, 50 moles of oxygen. I could possibly go buy another bottle. Get a little bit more oxygen and volatiles. But I kind of want to test this first. Okay, so as long as we're in vacuum, I shouldn't need to have these two tanks. So we should be able to deconstruct those. We should make that quicker to empty. Oh, the Kaboom provides its own light show. You don't need extra lights for that. Come on. Hurry up and pump it out. So there's 11.7 moles of nitrous oxide in there. And there's... Um, geez, the filter's already pro processed it immediately. Why is there only 0.9 moles in here? Is it cooking off the oxygen that was in the pipe? Why is there so little volatile in there? Oh, it's in this tank. That's why. <laughs> There's a lot more in here than it looked like by looking at the pipe network. A lot more. Okay, that's done. That's empty, which means we can turn this off. So. <laughs> Tank pressure is 6.66 megapascals. Let's turn the pump on for a moment. We have volatiles and nitrous. Volatiles is going down. Temperature is not changing much. Let's pump a bit more and then. The nitrous moles are going down, so this is cooking off slowly. Uh, no earth shattering kaboom so far. Is O2 going down too? Uh... The moles don't appear to be, uh, just the percentage. Um, what was I coming out here for? Battery. Oh, more coal. This is going all right. Air tank critical. Seems to be all right. Uh, there's nothing in the furnace, so the furnace doesn't have a temperature. The hot gas storage is up to 553 degrees. It has no more hydrogen in it. No more volatiles. 
So it's all cooked off. How much is in here? Still got 90 moles to push through. Uh, now the nitrous is going down. Temperature's not changing though. Is this that much colder? Oh, it's a lot colder. That's why. Uh, the red glowy bits, they're just pipe eaters. They are electrically adding heat to this pipe system. Uh, but I'm also trying to do some addition through ignition. Uh, which is not having as dramatic an impact as I feared it might. But it does appear to be having a small impact because the, the temperature is going up faster than it was before. So unfortunately this is a very low pressure system so it's very slow feed. Or fortunately, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of CO2 in there. My idea was that I was... It'd be great if I can get that CO2 hot. So I've just got CO2 that I can pass through as a hot gas. If I manage to get this hot enough, it's going to stay hot for a very long time. Because so much energy is required to get it hot. I wonder how hot the gases come out of the coal generator. Huh. Still, we've cracked 600 degrees Celsius. Alright, I'm just going to leave that running while I go outside. And maybe grab some more fuel from the trader. Before sending him away. It's away. He's robot. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Um, I'm sort of loot. Like, it might have been... Was I losing moles of O2 or was I just losing percentage? Because remember, I'm also gaining 50 moles of O2 from the canister itself. Twenty three point six moles of O two. It was around that level. It's not changing much. Twenty three point five. Okay, it's a little bit. There's a little bit of change. Hmm. I think the concentrations are too low for it to ignite. Interesting. Uh, that should have fuel mix in it. Yep. I think it's all emptied now. Pretty much. Nearly done.
I will say, I'm pretty happy with 640 degrees Celsius, though. Because the temperature I needed was for Astraloy, which is 727. I'm within 100 degrees Celsius of it now. I am, I'm getting close to being able to make Astraloy, which is the big thing I need so that I can get my power situation in a much better shape. Just need to get sidetracked so I forget to close a valve. That will probably happen, that is true. At least I've got a hundred more moles of O2 that's already ridiculously cold. So I can hook that up to my oxygen line, which is this one. Let's do that. Why did I have that valve there? Oh, that was when I needed to be able to cool it. Now I remember. Uh, one across and then straight up. Did I leave more pipes out there? Or just the regular pipes? Something that's just regular ones. No! No! Ah! Oh! Uh, series, I haven't got an effective way of transferring heat from my AC thing to my furnace because the furnace gets so hot that it actually makes my ACs too inefficient and therefore I can't cool down the oxygen. And right now, cooling down the oxygen is more important than trying to rescue that heat. Um, I was, I did have it connected so that the waste heat was going into my furnace, but then my furnace got so hot that I couldn't put waste heat in it. And thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, this probably is empty now. Get rid of it. Okay. So that's now. This is now at 23 degrees. <laughs> this is now at. Yep. Uh, bringing the freezing cold stuff into this has certainly um, allowed that to work a bit more efficiently. All right, let's go back out. We've got to mine some coal, get some power, and check on another trader. Do not have much. Um, much oxygen left. Nebula necessities. Um, honestly, Bundy Bear, I have no idea when I'll next do Underground Alone. Underground Alone was always meant to be a kind of a a thing I do in between other things. Never a constant series. I'll do. Come 
Come on. Come on. Be seeds! I know you're not going to be seeds. But be seeds! Please. What is this trader? They have... Oh, it's just the convenience store one. Tempting to buy the pill, but I'm not gonna. All right, depart. Goodbye. Where's some coal? Coal. Need coal. Oh, coal. Come on, come on, come on. He wants to buy my oxygen. That's not happening. Orbiting orchards. That's what I'm hoping for, okay. Makes sense. Does sound like a seed trader. Oh, get back here. Oi! And coal. I'm going to be so happy when I don't have to use coal to power my base. Okay, I gotta go. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Which way was home? I was on the side of the hill. Where was the hill? There it is. This is going to be bad. I'm at 406. Uh, come on. There you go, drills off. <laughs> uh. Ow. That was not good. That was very painful. I think on that note, I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> uh. Still haven't got the trader I need. So I'm going to have to keep RNGing it until I get that. But I do have the advanced furnace set up. I'm just waiting for it to get hot enough. It is probably going to get there fairly early on in the next stream. We have a look. Oh, it's actually there. The furnace is hot enough. Um, so the furnace is already at 700. The gas is already at 739 Celsius, which is what I needed. Uh, because I need 727. So I can do the advanced smelting next time and start getting solar panels out. And that means I will be able to get power without having to mine coal constantly, which will be absolutely delightful. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, um, I'll be back on YouTube with some more Scrapyard on Sunday. I will be back on Monday. 
Sunday. Oh, actually, no, no. This is the new week. Make sure you check splitsy.tv, uh, twitch.tv slash splitsy slash schedule, because I'll be back on Sunday morning with Shadow playing some RVs at war. That's when I'm next back. And then Scrapyard that night on YouTube. That's my Sunday, which is possibly Saturday for some of you. Cool. Yeah. Make sure you check the schedule thing. <laughs> so it's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for covering everybody. Bye.